Welcome back, everyone. This is Aid. I'm back on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified SMP server. And I thought I'd do one of these intros where you stare at yourself, because that's what the cool kids do, right? I think? Or something? I don't know. Maybe? No? No? Alright, moving on. <laughs> Just, uh, trading with some villagers today. And I've come to a realization. Let me grab out eight gold bars. Oops, that's nine. Just need eight. So, I, maybe you've heard me mention it in some random places. It's also been hit up in some other videos and stuff. But here's my current diamond collection. Do I have any of my other chest? No, I took them out. So I have over seven stacks of diamonds without really mining at all and this pile just keeps growing I just uh, came into a new venture which is going to bring in even more diamonds um, I am now basically supplying Anarchy's bookstore with books I've got some stuff set up where I will be selling books that I get from villagers exclusively to her bookstore and people can buy them from there so I'm selling them just to her for some nice cheap prices. She's already bought a few here. And then anyone else that wants the books has to go over to the bookstore and buy them from there. You can check out, she just did an episode on that. So if you want to check out her channel to see that. But that means I'm getting even more diamonds than I was before. And I'm not really using them for anything. Because I mean, tools, weapons, armor, that's what you use diamonds for. I get those all for villagers, and about the only other thing you can do with diamonds is build enchanting tables, but how many enchanting tables do I need, you know? So I'm actually to the point where I think I may try to decorate with some diamonds pretty soon. And so, in Zaidmart, I, I think we're going to mess with the currency a bit. And that's the next thing I want to show you. This blacksmith is still... He's missing just a couple trades on the end. And for a long time, he's had this trade right here. He's still got a couple more to unlock. He just still hasn't done it. But every time I have to unlock, like right now, I need more diamond picks. I know Scar bought all the ones from Zaidmart again. And Adian's also talking about getting a whole bunch more. And so I keep having to unlock this villager by giving him gold, because that's his last trade. I get an emerald. He gets the pink dots. Now I can buy more picks, as you can see here. But I keep having to dump gold into this guy. And so I'm thinking gold is probably going to be a currency that I need. There's been talk of building gold farms on the server by a few different people for quite some time now. But no one's ever actually gotten around to it. And I don't really need a lot of gold, but I could use some. And I'm also going to go through and see some of the other items that I may need. And then we're going to run over to Zaidmar, and I'm going to switch the currency up a little bit. I'm not going to get rid of the diamonds, because you, know, you can never have enough diamonds. Uh, but I, I want to give more choices that maybe people will pay with some non-diamond gear. Okay, that's locked up now. Eight's a good start. I'll take these over. Uh, I want to give him some options. So unless I come up with something else, I know we're going to add gold as an option. I'm thinking adding quartz as an option because that's another thing that's kind of harder to come by. Um, do, 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 do. This stuff's all pretty easy to get. Sand... Clay, dirt, nether brick. I have tons of nether brick. Woods are easy. Wool's easy. Possibly, maybe, maybe obsidian. Maybe lapis could be an option. Uh, regular clay blocks. That's another option. Mm, yeah, those are both good choices. Maybe I can do lapis and clay. Um, I could do obsidian, but I really just don't need much. Glowstone I can get from villagers, quartz, yeah, I think that's mainly it. Iron, of course, is good. I like coal blocks, but I have a ton of it. Um, I 
think pretty much everything else we're good on. So yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll do gold, quartz, clay, not hardened clay, but regular clay and lapis. And we'll go add some exchange rates. All right, here we are. Let's take a look, see if anything else is sold. Haven't looked for a few days. Oh, something else has sold. More diamonds. See how we're doing on stuff. Good on swords. Good on axes. Good on shovels. Completely out of picks. We're going to stick some new picks in there. Should be good on armor. I don't know what. Looks like somebody bought a chest plate. That's probably, yep. Four diamonds chest. That's where it all went. So everything else is doing good. I'm going to have to change all the signs on these. And uh, basically what we're going to do, let's just start on, say, the swords right here. So we'll change from diamond swords. We'll just put this back. Say diamond swords. One. And I need a better name for these, to be honest with you. So if you have any idea for a good currency name, let me know in the comment section. For now, I'm just going to call them Zade Bucks. So we'll say, like, a diamond sword is one Zade Buck. And let's put... Let's put it... Uh, I could probably do this. Should I put it in the middle... We're on that, yeah. Let's put it right here. We'll say one Zade Buck. And then we'll kind of give it a two way arrow about, oh, about that wide, like this. We'll put some choices up on the wall. So a Zade Buck could be equal to um, one diamond. Still going to take diamonds as, as the old currency. And you could instead, let's say, let's say six gold ingots. Is it ingots? I have it written on the wall where I always forget. Yeah, that's probably right. Okay. Or I'm gonna do some blocks over here. Uh, let's how much? How much? Let's say sixteen clay blocks. And then underneath we'll say not hardened just to make sure no one tries anything funny um, we can also get uh, let's say quartz quartz let's say let's say the same amount 16 quartz blocks or what about lapis lapis somewhat it's almost hard to find in a way, but it's kind of not, and I think a lot of people don't want it, but it's going to become more valuable in 1.8, so I probably shouldn't go too high. Um, let's go, let's just even say eight blocks, right? Because um, cause clay and quartz are both four per, so I guess eight, yeah, that's a good point. Eight lapis blocks take nine each, so that's actually more... Can I just not fit the S on there? Yeah, it's fine. Quartz block. <laughs> Who cares about grammar? So that's good for now. So people can come in and do the exchange rates. They can pay in diamonds, gold, clay, quartz, or lapis. And I've got to go through and now change all these signs to reflect that. Again, give me a better name. Zaid bucks are boring. Let me come out here and show you what the heck is this blue carpet possible spot for thing D okay D's gonna put her thing there apparently let me show you these real fast so I was messing around Sam and I were messing around with some lamp designs he kinda came up with some cool ones but when we put them down here they kinda didn't match the orange so we messed around with them a bit and couldn't quite get something that we liked. So we decided the design he originally came up with, we're going to put up there. There's a grass area, and they look pretty cool in there. So we're going to be putting those lamps up there. But we came up with this for down here. And uh, basically, I was kind of going for like a fake kind of cactus look. Obviously, it's not nearly as bright, but 
One option is to put the glowstone, and then these are birch leaves on top. I don't know what these uh, lag spikes are. I think uh, I think Skype's going nuts probably. So one option is the the uh, 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 the uh, uh, what's it called glowstone? Wow, blanked it. I'm gonna close Skype. Hang on just a second. It's distracting me. Click, quit. Yes, I'll be back later. Skype people. There we go. Sorry about that. So yeah, glowstone with the birch leaves on top, and then we put these signs on around the edge, so it, it almost looks like a pot. Um, I kind of like them, but I also wanted to go, here's the second option, I'm using a glowstone lamp is the difference on this one. The generic look itself, I like this more, but this other option gives the benefit that I can actually, if I want, we can have these lights turn off during the day because they're redstone powered. We can hook them up to daylight sensors. So it gives us more functionality versus what I think matches the leaves better. So let me know what you guys think between these. Do you like the look at all? And if so, glowstone versus redstone lamps. Let me know what you think. And once we've decided if these are good enough or not, we're going to spread them around this just this red sand area kind of make it look like a little deserty thing going on and uh, get rid of all these torches so that'll be really nice I'm still getting those spikes I think I saw them in someone else's video at spawn too I kind of wondering if something something's going on around here with the farm or who knows what I don't know we'll figure that out later it's not a big deal so yeah let me know between fake cactus and fake cactus which one do you like or do you like either of them and now uh, I think we're pretty much done over here I'm gonna go back and we're gonna build something mm. I was gonna work on the arena today but I ran out of time I'll tell you why when we get over there but I think I may mm, I don't know I don't know what are we gonna do what are we gonna do what are we gonna do all right, I know what we're going to do. Let me just put some of this away. I was just uh, working with some grass, which, oh, you know, I don't know if I ever showed this on camera before. I made a little grass farm thing, if you will. It's in here with my other junk. If we come down here, I just cleared out this little area. I've got the torches in rows so I can just like silk touch this row and this row leave this row, take that and that, leave that one, and just knock the two rows out, fill it in with dirt, wait a few minutes, do it again. Farmed a lot of grass. And uh, the reason I was just working with grass is because uh, I figured out what we're going to do. Let's go have a look. Actually, let me grab a few random materials first. If you've been watching my entire season of Too Crafty, you may remember this from a long time ago. If not, this will be something new, and we're finally getting around to it. Let's take some oak wood. Some slabs will be good. Um, doo -doo -doo. I don't think I'll need any stairs, but let's grab them anyway, just in case. Plants. We need some small plants. I don't know if there's going to be room for a tree over here, but if there is... It's either going to be acacia is going to look the best, birch is going to have the best chance to fit. Uh, let's grab some flowers too, actually. Some of the smaller ones, maybe. Some of these. Um, may have to go to studly flowers. Buy some other small ones. We can take a few tulips. Mm a few of those. If that's not enough, we'll go buy some more. Grab some bone meal. So I mentioned I was going to work on the arena again this week, but I ran out of time, and what I meant by that was a lot of the stuff with the arena takes a little bit of prep work. Not just the actual time spent building, but, but also uh, figuring out at least an idea of what I want to work on and what I want 
to work with material wise and also getting that material let's see so showing you where we are on the other side of this hill we can either go around and down or we can go down this direction I'm not sure which way I want to make a path eventually but they both come to this lake the other way would come down through here got to decide where the path that's best you know this would look a lot better if it went all the way over wouldn't it let's just fill that in and see how far it goes does it make it? Oh, we can fix that there we go yeah we'll uh we'll fancy that up later but that'll just look better um so i have this boat to cross the water and in here i put some torches down these are not permanent we don't like torches whoa slow down so this is what i was doing with grass this is in the mushroom biome and this was all mycelium I just went through and exactly where the mycelium was, I just replaced it with grass because I wanted it nice and bright and green in here. This is a cove. I just think it looks really, really awesome. It looks sweet when all the lights are off, but if I took all the torches down right now, I think on YouTube you'd basically just see a black screen. So we're going to have them in here until we get some mood lighting in, but I kind of want to just decorate this place up a little bit. We need to kind of make this grass look more natural. That's why I kept a little bit with me. Um, but with materials and stuff on the arena, it, you know, I've got to look at something and say, you know, oh, I want to build this maybe out of quartz, and then I have to make sure I actually have quartz, that sort of thing. And uh, I just kind of ran out of time to really even think about it. Let's change this block too. Because this week, I, I've mentioned a few times I'm getting an office in my house at some point in time. And... We had the floor, we decided to do our entire basement all at once instead of just the room that's going to be my office because some of it involves renting some equipment and if we only do that once then that saves us some money. Let's see, maybe like right here too. I don't want to do this whole hill but I kind of want it to look a little more of a natural blend. So we decided just to do the entire basement all at once and that means that we, uh, we're going to be busy whenever we got the stuff. And we weren't planning on doing it this weekend, but part of the thing we needed was a cement grinder. We have some bumps in our cement floor, and we needed to grind them smooth. And a friend of ours used to live in town with us, but they moved across the state. They were driving through to go do some stuff somewhere. Uh, how's this looking? How's this looking? Let me come back here a little bit. I think I might be alright with that. And uh, they had a cement grinder of their own. So when they drove through, they said that they could drop it off and let us use it, which meant that we don't have to rent one. The only thing is the thing they were going through town for was not going to last very long. So we had, they brought it on Friday, early afternoon, and they came and picked it up Sunday around lunchtime. So we had a, um, around 48 hours, I guess. Where might this fit? Maybe down here, perhaps? It has this cool little waterfall in here. I think it's pretty nice. It also, there's like a little bit of coal right here, and so that gave me an idea. I think I, think I want to go grab just like some iron and maybe some gold, just little things like that, the ore, and just kind of randomly place them in the walls in here, I think would look pretty cool. I maybe need to do a little mining. Ah, scary mining. Go do some mining and get like, just so, just to soak touch a few blocks of like redstone and diamond and stuff like that, and just put it all through the wall in here. I think that'd be cool. Let's try here. Oh, lag spike. My computer's been a little funky today. Anyway, uh, so they only gave us about 48 hours, and I actually had to work Friday. Ooh, it did grow. Friday and Saturday, so I didn't have a lot of time. It's a nice straight acacia tree, but, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. We need to, I think, spread this water out at the bottom of this, though. 
Maybe just break these blocks, see if it'll spread out. To there. You know I should add... I'm going to have to go grab another thing of water to get an infinite block down here. Yeah. Can I get out? <laughs> Not with lag spikes. <laughs> no, okay, I need an ender pearl. Fine. Just shoot into the wall there. Uh, so I didn't have very much time, so I was rushing all weekend trying to grind as much of the floor as I possibly could because if we are able to flatten it all out enough... Wow, that, like, did not actually... Oh, I see. I get it, I get it. We're good. If we actually are able to finish it with that, then we don't have to spend money to rent one from somewhere like Home Depot. And uh, saving money is always cool. So if that's that low, I'm actually going to have to... Mm, you know, you know what? Let's raise that up. Just spread the water out one higher. Let's do this. Put that there. Give me a source block. Fill that in. There we go. So I did a lot of grinding, and that took up all my time, so I didn't really have time to prepare or do any of the other things I wanted. Wow, what are these lag spikes coming from? Let me let me close Skype again. <laughs> it seems to help a bit. Skype and my computer don't get along. I've had my computer running for days. Maybe I should give it a reboot. Hmm. Yeah, that by help. Anyway, so grinded and grinded. I think it's maybe flat enough, but I don't know, so we'll see how that goes. But if all is well, I will get to start working on my office floor very soon. We already have the flooring. It's chilling downstairs in the basement, but it's uh, we're putting in vinyl planks. It's like a fake wood look, and the floor is supposed to be nice and flat to avoid wear. As long as there's no bumps in it, though, you can put it in smooth and just kind of not mess with it too much. And most of the areas aren't in a very high traffic area, so I think we're probably just going to go with it. But we'll see. I'll let you know next week. Maybe I can put a tree over here, too, actually. I probably can. Uh, let's try to get one to go right there. Come on. I know you want to. I think that hill's bugging it. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I put it on this side instead. Come on. There we go. There we go. I'll take that. I will take that. How's that look? Yep. That will do. Kind of a nice arch. That kind of kind of covers the entrance anyway. That's good. That's good. Um, I almost want to see if one could grow up here, but I'm doubtful. Let's give it a little try, though. Yeah. It's more bone meal. If all of this goes through and it doesn't grow, we'll just say whatever. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can't do it. Okay, screw you. Screw you, sapling. We'll just put some flowers or something. You know what? Let's actually let's do the cheaty way and just kind of bone meal some of this grass. Not up there though. And kill that torch and just kind of pop that kind of start at this level do some of this I think will look cool maybe I should uh, I think let me know what, if you have any ideas of like a little cove of something maybe like I don't know just a little room we could dig in the wall somewhere that could be cool but I don't know what to put in it so let me know it could be almost like a little hobbit hole sort of maybe I don't know let's try this okay let's try this there's going to be too many red and yellow flowers. We don't want all those. We want some fancier stuff. I really like these. What are they called? Blue orchids. From the swamps. I can't have two yellow flowers right next to each other. Take out that one. Give me some orange tulips. Put that there. I don't know. One down here. Something like that could work. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think I need some more color. Maybe I will run over to Studley Flowers real fast. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. No shopping cart? Okay, that's alright. We'll just carry everything. Let's get some of uh, some purple might look good over there. Let's grab a couple of those. I've got white, I've got blue. Oh, don't need more red, don't need that, don't need that. Let's go spring for a couple pink tulips. And uh, you know, I think I think that might be good. Yeah. So we'll just come over here, let's see. His new sign says, just whatever, pay what you want. You got it, Sam. Black emeralds. Okay, let's just spread these out a little. Make this kind of look like a flower forest, I guess. Put some over here, over here. So, uh, new series, The Ugly Block Challenge. Have two episodes out of that. Uh, the second one came out basically right before I was recording this. I've seen a couple responses to it already. We'll see if we get more. It's uh, for Netherrack. It's very hard to build with, I have decided. But the one before that, last week we did Soul Sand, and there were a lot of responses, actually. I got a lot better response to that little ugly block challenge than I thought I would. So just to you guys watching, check it out. If you haven't, check out the responses if you haven't. There's some pretty cool stuff built with some of those. And uh, then just to say thank you to everyone that has, it's uh, turning out really well. I re I'm, I'm pretty happy. So thank, it, thank you all for uh, kind of making it work. Let's put some gold right there. Let's put, let's put some gold right here. Boom. boom. And then maybe some iron in the wall, kind of slash ceiling. Let's do this. Whoa, what just happened? I just like went through a block. Get there and there or something. Yeah, yeah, where else looks kind of plain. Mm. Put it in the ceiling. Can I reach the ceiling? Uh, I can do this ceiling. Yeah, 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 that'll do for now. Maybe I'll spice some more up later. Uh, but we need to build a dock really quick. I'm just thinking, let's just come like right here and one, two, here. Come up a couple. We'll just stick torches on these for now. I think they might look okay there. And then let's come out like one, two, let's say, leave a gap of one, two, three. So right here. Eh, it's not going to do anything too fancy here. So that would be here. Let's take that block out. It'll look better on the other side. Put some torches on these. For now, maybe I'll switch those to... You know, maybe I should just do that now, actually. Instead of torches... Oh, fail. Fail! I'll just edit that out. I mean, that, that never happened. Punch that torch. There we go. We'll just slab the top of those. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Alright. So, uh, the other thing, the other news. Should I come up over the top of this, maybe? Actually, let's do that. No, not two. And just come down the middle. Dang it, maybe I shouldn't do that while swimming. Uh, the, the mod pack is coming along nicely. I Like I was mentioning, the stuff with my basement and grinding the floor and all that, I could use some glowstone down in the water, or some pumpkins, I'll have to do that. It took up a lot of my time, and that also meant I wasn't able to test more mods together. But I am going to do that as soon as I finish up here. We're going to get back in that. I don't know if we will be quite done this week. This week, I th I'm hoping to have the mod pack put together this week. But then we're going to want a few days to mess around with it. Just kind of in creative mode. And make sure everything seems to be working before we go too crazy with playing. I'm going to start popping out some of these lights. 
It's going to go for the mood lighting in here as opposed to a real bright cove. Oops. But uh, we don't want it to uh, screw up once we start the series and have to kill everything. So hopefully we can find any issue beforehand. I'm going to pop out that. That's good for now. That's kind of we We want it like dark. Hopefully this isn't too dark on YouTube, but the idea is like when you come over here, it's it's kind of dark, but there's going to be like little glowy areas, but we'll have to decide what to do instead of torches. And then uh, let me know what I should build in a little room over here. We'll get that in soon. And look forward to the mod pack. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my little cove. And again... If you have any better names for my currency at Zaidmart, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this week, everyone. As always, this was Zaid. Have a good week. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.